Yes, it is so amazing to be sitting here next to you. And I just have to make mention about what Paige was just saying. You know, it is hard losing a pet, and a pet really does make a house a home. So we're all thinking of you, Paige. And I know you don't have a pet right now, but maybe, maybe it's just time. <laughs> oh, I keep trying to tell Zach. I want a dog so bad, but oh. hopefully in the next few years. Absolutely. Okay. okay, good. But I do know that you're a big rescue lover as well. In fact, there was a rescue that named all the dogs in their rescue for your team, correct? Yeah, so cute. Tell me a little bit about that. So we were tagged in it and it was so cute and they picked names off of dogs that they thought resembled certain players. I love it, <laughs> so you need to rescue with the dog named after you. I know, That's I know. what I'm gonna say. <laughs> or you can rescue Indolf. Let me tell you a little bit about him. We've been hanging out with him. He is a polar bear. We basically brought a polar bear from the North Pole to us for Christmas in July. As I said, his name is Indolf. He was named after the King of Scotland for eight years. He's a great Pyrenees, and he is a big boy. He is a fluff machine and a slobber machine, might I add. So anybody who has a great Pyrenees or might be interested in one definitely does need to know what they're getting into. There will be some shedding and some drooling, but it is drooling of love. Now, he was taken from the Central Valley of California, where there's a lot of breeding, a lot of overpopulation. He did have some sores on his body, including one on his tail that was just removed. So there are some stitches left that are just... Uh, healing, but he is so much better. He is pretty indifferent to other animals, but he's not indifferent to cheese, as you can see. I'm trying <laughs> to get his face to the camera. He is such a beautiful boy. He loves to just hang out. He's very, very mellow. And as I said, he's pretty good with other animals so far. He loves his cheese, and he would love a home of his own. Obviously, a home with a big yard, someone who can take him for some nice walks, but because it is hot here in Southern California, you definitely have to keep that in mind with a big furry oh, yeah. dog like him. But hasn't he been just an angel? Oh, the biggest sweetheart. He really, really is. And he is available through a rescue called Paw Works here in Southern California. So you can go to pawworks.org for more information. They have so many animals right now. So if he's not the one for you, there are still so many others that you can uh, maybe meet and adopt. And just like we say every day, no matter where you live, like you, Julie, are in Philadelphia, you've got it here in California, no matter where it is there are so many animals that need you and need adoption ever after so on any given day and when the time is right for you and Zach go to your local oh, shelter. Oh absolutely. It, it makes such a difference.